I'm going to play solitaire for Mahjong competition rules. There are 88 scoring elements. Playing solitaire, I think, is a great way to learn them. If you have a set at home, give it a try yourself. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out. They've been mixed and built into walls next to these risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left in the wall. I'm going to deal the tiles. East will get 14, Southwest and North will get 13 each. Okay, here we go. We need eight point minimum. That's the standard minimum for Mahjong competition rules. Let's see what we can do for East. Hmm. Okay. We have seven, eight, nine, four. We almost have a pure double chi. I wonder if that is in here. Pure double chow, one point. That's not a lot. One point for a pure double chow. And then we have a pair of nines. Hmm. Oh boy, let's see. I'm thinking all pung. We have one, two, three, three pair. If we get two more pair, we could do all pung. All pung is six points plus one pung for terminals, a pung of terminals. That would be seven. If we get even one flower, that can get us to eight. Or we can pair up and pung the dragon or the uh, seat wind. I think that's what I would do here. All pung. Now, if we get. Let's see, what is a mixed triple chow is eight points. If we get a seven bam, eight bam, seven bam, uh, crack, eight crack, we might be able to do a little bit there, maybe, but I think all pung is what I would do here. Let's see what we can do for south. Okay, we have east, it's east round. So that would be a prevailing wind, which I believe is one point, two points. Prevailing wind is two points. That's nice. Two points for the prevailing wind. Okay, there's one pair in here. That's a pretty long stretch for all pung. Ooh, if we get rid of this four dot, we could have one voided suit. So that would be two, three. <laughs> we have to find five more points. We're just going to have to wait and see. I'm not sure what to do here. If we played a chicken hand, we'd have to get rid of this pair pair of the wind of the round all right let's let's circle back and look at what we can do for west okay west they do have a lot of dots and honors well two honors that's not a whole lot but a half flesh is six points. We would still need two more points somewhere. 
we do have a 2323 but we don't have anything here for that I think we're gonna just have to wait and see for them too they're in a very similar situation here okay maybe they could play a half flush with the wind of the round and a flower maybe if they can draw a flower that would get them to eight points all right let's see what we can do for north okay they have a flower so they have a point already I'm thinking maybe the knitted straight for north knitted straight anytime I have mixed suits I think about the knitted straight or maybe even lesser honors and knitted tiles here's a one four seven we have a six nine and then in the middle we need a two two five eight so we need this is a bit weak right here and of course we need a pair in there but we could do a knitted straight which is 12 points and then a pung of west which wouldn't bring any additional score but that would give us 12 points a knitted straight right there okay maybe we need a two five right here okay we're going to discard so i think down here we were thinking all pung all pung maybe pair up here seven eight nine oh four five six nine one let's get rid of the one crack and then we can draw for south one dot I don't think that's helpful we're going to throw the one dot and draw up here now if they're going to play a half flush or maybe they should try concealed if they go concealed that can help them get to their eight points let's hold off on claiming that for a chow plus that would leave an isolated two and only one chow remaining we'd have to throw all these away let's draw six dot so that helps a little bit let's go ahead let's see five five six six let's get rid of this let's see here let's get rid of the north and draw for north three crack let's get rid of the north that's their seat wind too late I already discarded it let's draw for east four dot yeah that's not helpful really we do have a four five though now four dot let's throw it and draw for south they got a north there's already two out let's discard it and we can draw four west four dot that is looking much better for a half flush let's get rid of the five bam oh maybe i should have kept that we could have maybe done a pure double chow four five six even though we have no four bam i think we're better off going with a half flush or a pure straight seven eight nine four five six one two three let's look and see how many points a pure straight is a pure straight is 16 points if we did a pure straight that's one two three sets we could do four and then a pair so we really didn't lose much giving up on that five bam I think a half flush or pure straight would work here so let's not lament and move on and draw for north red dragon red dragon so we have 
147258369. Let's get rid of the two dot and draw for east. They got a flower. That's helpful. One flower. Okay, they got a one dot. That's not helpful. So we're trying for maybe all pung here. Let's discard the one dot and draw four south. Five dot. Okay, five dot. Pung of east. We need pairs in here. This is not good. We'll discard the four dot and draw here. We need one, two, three, four, five, six. We have the seven, eight, nine. Let's draw south, south. Let's leave options open and discard the south and draw four north, five bam. We needed that for the knitted one, four, seven, one, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine, Pung. Let's get rid of the red and draw for east. One crack. We can discard that and draw for south. Four crack. Okay. That's going to help them get to Pung's. They have a long way to go though. Let's discard the five dot. And we're going to draw for west, but instead of drawing, let's chow so we can help them get to appear straight. We need a one dot though. There are two out. So that is risky. That's a risky move. Risky move. No honors is a point. Let's get rid of the white dragon and draw for north. Six crack. We still need some more. Let's see. West three six nine. We can maybe discard that. Two five eight one four seven. So there's one, two, three. Those are about ready. There's a potential chow. These are isolated. Let's get rid of the eight bam. Okay. And draw for east. One bam. None of these tiles are out right. Oh, red dragon was thrown. Let's throw that. And we can draw for south. Six bam. Okay, six, seven, eight, two, seven, nine. White dragon was thrown. Let's draw four uh, west. Two dot. Oh, we don't need that. Well, we do still need a pair, so that's okay. Side weight, side weight. Let's discard the two bam. So we need a one dot here. If we can fill this chow, we could be ready on a one dot. Let's draw four north. Green dragon, let's discard that. And draw for east. Six crack, that's not helpful. Six crack, nobody can take it. We're gonna draw. But first, we just went through the second wall, so we're now in the middle game. Drawing for south. Two crack. That's going to help them get to Pung's. One, two, three, four. All they need is a pair in there. Oh, we need to discard. So we have seven, nine, two, six, seven, two. Oh, eight bam was discarded. I think I missed that. 
That's a bummer. Okay, let's go ahead and discard the west for south. And we're going to pung it up here. Pung for north. Pung for north. So we have a 369, 258, 147, 56. Let's get rid of the 9 crack. And we can draw for east. Now here we're going to maybe try pungs. Were we going to try for all pung, I think? Let's pung it. And then we can discard the five bam. Let's draw for south red dragon. Drawing for west one bam. We need a one dot. Let's discard the one bam. And we're going to draw up here. Five dot. We need a three dot. Let's discard it. And we're going to draw four east. Six dot. We need to pair up. We need to pair up. One bam. Let's discard that. And draw for south. Three crack. I don't think that's going to be helpful. Let's see, two BAM is out. Let's discard that. And draw four west. Seven crack. Okay, they made it before the other one dot went out. Three BAM for west. So we're ready to win pure straight for west. Let's just double check pure straight is 16 points. We're going to draw four north, seven bam. We need one, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. Let's discard the seven bam and draw four east, white dragon. Drawing for south, seven bam. They got a pair, one, two, three, four, five. If they get one more pair, we could have them play seven pair. So let's see if we can switch them to seven pair. The nine crack was thrown. Let's throw that. Okay. So let's see how many points seven pair is. Seven pairs is 24 points. Okay. So I threw a nine crack and it's time for West to draw south. Let's draw four north. One dot, we're going to discard it. One dot, and that's Mahjong, pure straight right here. Five, six, seven, it doesn't matter what it is. There's their pair. Okay, one dot, this player, north through it, one dot, I think I'll turn it, or maybe what we should do is put it over here, seven, eight, nine, four, five, six. So this is their pure straight right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, pair of twos. Four, five, six. So this is going to be a pretty low scoring hand, I think, because it was exposed, but it is a pure straight. Pure straight is 16 points. I don't think they have any other score. Let's just see. Let me know what you thought about that solitaire game. I think it's interesting that it went pretty quickly for this one. Let's see, 
a winning hand in eight discards. That's pretty quick, I think. 42 points. I'm not sure yet if that's a, a decent score or not. Time will tell. I will be doing more solitaire games and random pulls to get used to these scoring elements. If you have a set at home, I hope you give it a try. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Mahjong competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.